Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. We are out here in Kalahari again. I'm so happy because I love this place. We've got Furiosa, we've got the Wildcat BT. We're going to shoot some sparrows and duff. So sit back and enjoy. This feeding farm is situated in the northwest of South Africa, close to the border of Namibia. This farm with all its feed provides a feeding oasis for numerous pests like sparrows, doves, ground squirrels and a few others. They live an easy life with unlimited food and this causes their numbers to explode. That is where we come in. We are here to reduce their numbers and restore the balance. We are back in a Kalahari at a familiar spot. It's a nice calm day today. It's a little bit of a breeze in the air, but not too bad. So we usually sit on this side of the camp. You all remember these fences. But this time the farmer said he'll open this gate for us. And there's two trees and a lot of fences on this side with massive amounts of sparrows. So we're going to have fun in there. So let's get going. There's so many fences and treetops and everything infested with sparrows. Maggie is ready to get them down. <laughs> We've got Furiosa on the bench first. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. And I think she's got one in her sights already. Yes, let's do this. So that one got stuck in the fawn bush. 85 meters. <laughs> Maggie started off with an immaculate headshot. What a way to start the day. Now it was my turn and I decided to go for a smaller target. Down he goes, 85 meters, first one for the morning. Furiosa delivers with precision accuracy and this one stands no chance. Furiosa is first up on the bench and she's got the brand new Element Titan on there. I'll show you a little bit more about that scope a little bit later. Uh, she's shooting the 21 grain javelin at 980 feet per second and regulator is running at uh, about 155 bar and we've got the hammer and all those things pretty much maxed out. Very nice setup, very efficient as well because it's such a light slug and very flat shooting as well. So a very nice setup for this type of shooting where you've got shorter and longer distances because that trajectory is so nice and flat. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this one first, so let's get going. Down he goes, 85 meters, dove. Yeah, so much fun. This one gets hit in the spine and it leaves him motionless. <laughs> that one jumped as he got hit. Awesome shot, about 50 meters. We're having a lot of fun so far. Very successful as well. We're getting a lot of doves in the thorn bushes, which is quite surprising. They kind of like to sit in there. And we get some sparrows as well, but the doves are just way more fun. We've got another one, so let's go. Maggie disrupts my plans and spotted a few ground squirrels, so it was time to take immediate action. So they all got their burrows on this side of the fence. You can see it all over here. So the fence provides us with a nice stable platform to shoot from. We're going to use this Patriot bag, which is perfect for fence shooting. I already see a few running around there. Let's find a nice angle. There we go. Let's do just nice solid hit. Solid hit. Now you got him. He's twirling. Head shot. Seems like it. Or he's hurt. Go for him again. He's hiding behind the bush. You can move if you want. There he goes. Of 
wind from left to right slightly. Very steady wind, left to right. I think I might go in there. Just yeah, go and go fetch them. check. <laughs> Maggie hits the first one right in the head and down he goes. The second one she follows up with another brilliant headshot. And just remember, she is shooting off a fence here. She then continues to hit the third one right in the head as well. Three shots, three headshots off a fence. Not bad at all. The fourth shot tracked beautifully, but I suspect a gust of wind got hold of it, as you can see by the dust blowing away there in the back. The fifth shot was right on target again, right in the back of the head, and down he goes. The next shot is quite interesting. It starts off pretty good, but as you can see, the squirrel jumps right at the last minute, and the slug goes underneath him. Lucky though for Maggie, he stays put and doesn't go anywhere. She keeps calm and then follows up with another brilliant shot. This time it connects perfectly in the head. This was great shooting by Maggie and although it looks easy, I can guarantee you it is definitely not. We then proceeded to jump over the fence and confirm the kills. All the burrows. That's everywhere and this extends right into the feeding troughs because I get a lot of their food from there as well, you can see there and the farmer said you must just get their population down this is becoming a little problem, you can also see this is where the, the animals drink and they will break their legs in here so there's a bit of a problem for the farmer that's why we are here you can only really see the extent of the problem once you go into the air. As you can see here, there are multiple burrows. And it's not even just confined to one spot, there are multiple colonies all over this farm. Well, that's pretty good. The wildcat did his job. Perfect gun for shooting off a fence like that. Nice, balanced, lightweight, loads of shots, especially with that 21 grain javelins and more than enough power as well yeah, perfect tool for the job now we're heading back to Furiosa again and to shoot a few doves and sparrows again and wait for the ground squirrels to think that it's safe again and then we'll hit them again with a wildcat if there's enough time and if they come out but they should so that's just the strategy at the moment um, get some doves down come back to the ground squirrels solid hit these 21 grains they still pack a mega punch so that was a hundred meters you can see that uh, duff just explode on there so awesome <laughs> that it a little bit short distance 38 meters but yeah still fun On top of Furiosa here today, we've got the brand new Element Titan Scope. This is a 3 to 18 by 50, uh, 34 mm tube, first focal plane. Uh, difference between this one and the, the older Titan or the, the Big Brother Titan, this one has got 150 MOA of elevation, about 43.6 MRAD, which is quite a lot, and that's uh, doable with this 34 mm tube. And it's also got ED glass and everything. So, this is a, a, a lighter weight scope than the previous Titan. Uh, but with more elevation travel and 
just a perfect scope for PRS shooting, long distance shooting, that type of thing. Very nice, affordable scope and very good value for money for what you get in this scope. Brilliant glass, very clear, you can see through the scope cam as well. Yeah, I kind of like it, it's uh, kind of in between the, the Helix and the, the, tight, the Big Brother Titan at the moment. And it's actually a perfect balance for air gunning, so I kind of like the scope. It only comes with the, the dirty reticle or the Christmas tree reticle. Uh, Element has seen that the clear reticle hasn't sold very well. So they decided to just stick with the Christmas tree or the dirty reticle. Um, but yeah, it's, it's perfect for me. I love it and a very awesome scope. Whoop! Headshot, 48 meters. What I also like about the scope is the fact that it films really well through the scope cam. Yo, okay, in the thorn bush, 85 meters. Another perfect impact and I don't think you can ask for a better shot placement than that. Hundred and twenty two meters solid. Man, this gun is accurate. <laughs> With that shot we are going to end part one here. In part two we go after more ground squirrels, this time at longer distances. We also continue with Furihosa's revenge on the doves and sparrows. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. I hope you liked this video and if you did please hit the like button. See you soon.